Hi, what's up guys? This is Jeremy with Fundamental Tennis. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to hit a slice serve. We're gonna talk about briefly what a slice serve is. I'm gonna show you the benefits of hitting a slice serve. And we're gonna do several very simple progressions that anyone can do by yourself to help you learn the slice serve. Even if you already hit a slice serve, this is a great video, uh, great progressions to help you improve your slice serve. So let's get started. When hitting a good slice serve, you will make the ball behave in a way that the ball spins sideways. Look at the words on the ball here. This side spin component causes the ball to stay very low to the ground after it bounces, more so than any other type of serve. This benefits you as the server because the returner will have a low contact point, causing them to often hit up on the ball giving you a sitter that you can potentially put away on the next shot. Slice serves also make the ball bounce after the bounce that is, the ball will trail to the left from the server's perspective away from the returner, which opens up the court on your next shot. So it's not like a flat serve that travels straight after the bounce. As you'll see here, the ball will bounce and then it's going to go to the right from the returner's perspective. You can also make the ball spin into the returner's body. So there's a few things that you can do tactically based on what you're trying to do with your serve and your next shot after the serve. So this is a great serve to have in your arsenal as opposed to having just a flat serve or just a kick serve. You wanna be able to have that variety so that the returner doesn't know what's coming. So let's start with our first progression and take a close look at how I make that ball spin. The most important element to hitting a slice serve is you're not gonna hit the back of the ball. So your string should not be pointing literally to the target at contact. The strings should be angled slightly so that it's facing the left side of the court. So you wanna hit the outside of the ball or the right side of the ball as you can See, I'm doing that right here. So as a righty, hitting the right side of the ball and not the back of the ball. In this first progression, we're gonna take that and instead of doing it over our head, we're gonna do it hitting the ball into the ground. And then in the next progression, you'll see we'll do the same thing we're about to do here and raise it above our head. So watch this, I'm just gonna simply drop the ball, let the ball bounce and hit the outside of the ball, and you see I catch with my other hand. Watch again, I drop the ball, hit the outside, and notice how the ball goes to my left after it bounces. This shows that I hit the outside of the ball. The ball, after it bounces, comes straight back up. You did not hit the outside of the ball. By the way, you must be using a continental grip with your dominant hand here. Now, another thing you could do, if you wanna get a little dizzy, is continuously hit it after it bounces hitting the outside of the ball. Notice how my strings are not pointing directly down to the ground as I am hitting the outside of the ball. You could also do the same progression by hitting the ball after every other bounce, okay? So once you get a feel for that, you are ready for the next progression in which we'll do it above our head. So the key again is hitting the right side of the ball so they make the ball spin sideways. All right, in this progression, I want you to choke up on your grip. You're gonna hold the top of the grip close to the throat with your continental grip. And pay close attention, this is very important, on where you should be when you hit these serves for the first few progressions. I want you halfway between the net and the service line and outside of the deuce doubles alley as a righty. As you can see, I'm not on the court, I'm to the right of the deuce alley as a righty, halfway between the net and the service line. Choked up on the grip, I'm in my usual serve stance, I'm not gonna jump, I'm not gonna follow through, I'm gonna isolate just contact to contact. So I'm gonna start with my hitting arm extended at my eventual contact point, I'm gonna toss no higher than the top of my racket, and my racket should be on edge meaning the frame is pointing to the eventual ball toss. So watch here, start at contact. By the way, we're aiming for the left service box. 
I put a few cones there. Uh, you can use cones or not, it doesn't matter, but your target is the left service box. So it goes contact to contact. You should not be swinging real fast here. But we're just getting a feel for hitting the outside of the ball. So each progression, you're going to do about a dozen or so repetitions, or it's just really based on your success until you think you've mastered that progression. Watch one more time. I start at contact. My frame is on edge. The strings are pointing pretty much to the target that I'm aiming for. I toss no higher than my racket. Contact. And look at where the ball goes. It'll give you feedback on if you're hitting the right side of the ball or not. If the ball is going straight ahead, it's not going to the left service box of the righty, then you are not hitting the right side of the ball. Next progression, you're going to hold the bottom of the grip like you normally would. Everything else is exactly the same. Start at contact, toss no higher than your racket, and finish at contact. You're not going to see a whole lot of spin yet because we haven't done near the full motion, it's a very short uh, swing path, so you don't have the time to accelerate the racket. But if the ball's going into the left service box, then you are doing it right in hitting the outside of the ball. Now, again, one more time, I'll show you another one of this. Just simply holding the bottom of the grip, and it goes contact, contact. And I'd like you to hold the finish every time of these first three or four progressions so you can see if your strings are still pointing to the left service box at the end. Now, the next progression is you're gonna start with the, oh, getting ahead of myself. You're gonna start at contact still and you're gonna finish with a follow through with your hitting hand next to your non-dominant pocket. So, start at contact, all the same checkpoints here, toss no higher than your racket, and finish with the hitting hand next to your non-dominant pocket. Now, let's watch one more time. I'm not doing a backswing, I'm not jumping, I'm not using my legs. We're just adding a little bit, a little more parts to the serve in each progression. So once you've mastered that progression, you're now gonna start with your hitting arm down your racket, down your back like this. You're gonna toss the ball no higher than your highest reach. And you're gonna follow through, okay? Now you're gonna be able, you're gonna start to see that the ball will go to the left after it bounces. It's not gonna keep the same directional trajectory. So once again, we start with the racket down the back, toss the ball no higher than your racket, and you're gonna follow through, okay? That time I hit the frame, that means I'm really trying to get the outside of the ball. If you hit the frame, it's not necessarily a bad thing initially. Now, uh, the next progression, we're gonna start with our hitting arm in the L position. As you can see, it looks a bit like an L. This is very similar, really the same to uh, preparing to throw a ball, like a football. Now, from here, again, we're still standing outside the deuce side, double dally close to the net. From the L position, you're gonna toss the ball, get the racket down your back, Hit the outside of the ball, that's the most important thing in hitting a slice, and then do your follow through. So we're almost at the full motion. So here we go, L position. Don't toss too high, and bingo, right on cue, got the target. Watch one more time in the L position. Toss, contact, and boom. So really make sure that your ball is going to the left service box of the righty. If it is, then you are doing it just the way you need to, hitting that right side or outside of the ball. Couple key things to note is on a slice serve, there's other things that are a little bit different in the technique aside from just you must hit the outside of the ball. Now, one of them is if I'm hitting the ball this way, on a flat serve, my hips will rotate earlier and I will be facing the net or closer to facing the net with my hips at contact. When you do a slice serve, your hips should stay sideways longer and your hips should be a bit closed off to the net at contact, okay? Now, another thing about the slice serve is a flat serve swing path is, say, here, and a slice serve swing path is actually quite similar. It's just a little bit 
more to the right in the swing path. Okay, so slight difference in the swing path. Now, as you'll see in my last few progressions, I really like to have my students toss well to the right. In fact, as far to the right as possible while still maintaining their feet, staying still and, and keeping balance. This is because I wanna keep emphasizing hitting the outside of the ball and getting that little bit of a different swing path where you swing slightly more to the right compared to the flat serve swing path. And as you'll see, I'm gonna start in a full motion from my serve ready position, okay? Now, I'm about, I've taken a few steps back from where I was before. I'm about halfway between the baseline and service line now. So notice, I'm still outside the Duke Double Valley. I toss well to my right. And that ball stayed really low and had a ton of spin. Okay, you can have a lot of speed and a little spin, or a lot of spin and a little bit of speed on your slices, a lot of variations. When you start though, I'd like you to try to get a lot of spin, um, a lot of racket head speed. Now you can really start swinging fast. So watch again, I start from my ready position. I toss well to my right. Okay, I'll watch one more time. I toss well to my right. Right? It's almost like a high contact forehand slice. In fact, that's another progression for another video I do. I got another progression on the slice serve. So uh, you may not, I prefer you not always toss so far to the right, but when learning the slice, I think it's a great idea to toss well to the right, as far to the right as you can while still keeping your feet still and remaining balanced. All right, we are finally going to be behind the baseline, hitting the outside of the ball, full motion. Still not using the legs, no jumping, it's just isolating the swing path and keeping the body still. We are behind the baseline, but also behind the doubles line. So we're working our way back towards the baseline from close to the net, and then we're gonna work our way to our left from the doubles line. So we're moving in an L position, getting closer and closer to the realistic serving position on the court now. Notice how I toss well to my right, as far right as I can, while still maintaining balance. If this messes you up tossing way to the right, then you don't have to do it, but if you can do it, I certainly would recommend it, at least initially. So I'm still, of course, aiming for the left service box. I'm hitting the right side of the ball. Okay. By the way, guys, if you do this correctly, you're gonna start to hear a different sound when the ball hits your strings, kind of like a clicking sound, different sound than when you hit it flat. It should also feel quite different. I like to tell people envision hitting the outside of an apple, shaving the skin off an apple, as opposed to hitting through and breaking the apple. So watch again, I'm behind the doubles line, toss well to my right. One more time. A lot of action on that ball. The last progression, as you'll see, I'm gonna be behind the baseline still. I'm in my normal serving position on the court near the center hash mark. And I'm gonna to toss that ball to my right, hit the outside of the ball. I'm listening for the clicking sound. To give me feedback. Well, that was a great serve there. Really got it low, really spun to the left there, pushing the returner off the court. Another good one, I think I got the line there. Let's see if I can hit the cone. Well, that's not the cone. Let me, let me finish on a good note for y'all. Yes, bingo, got it. Right on cue. That is the first time I tried that. Um, I did not try 100 times to get that cone. Got it on my first try. Well, I guess maybe my fourth try there. I think I got two cones in, in this video here. Um, anyway. Jeremy with Fundamental Tennis, thanks so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video for you. Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment, give me feedback, let me know how this goes for you, and I'll see you in the next video.